Head back. Hold on. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride at all times. What is up, Dad Coaster Co. viewers? My name is Drew Anthony Duncan, or Dad for short. We're here today at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, checking out the 2023 Indiana State Fair. It's been several years since I've been to the State Fair. I used to come every year and even worked here for a school fundraiser. So I'm excited to be back here on the fairgrounds to see what it has to offer for this year. Let's check it out. Here's your fair ticket prices here, $14 for adults. Children five and under are free. Officially inside the fairgrounds here. It's been a while since I've been here to the Indiana State Fair, so we're gonna see what it has to offer this year in 2023. As you can see here, as we approach the first intersection, you see the tractor here that's pulling the train full of people down the uh, midway. I've played it once. I wanted a Pacers jersey, and I had my dad play. This year's State Fair is sponsored by the Indiana Pacers. So, looks like they got a lot of basketball stuff going on over here. Some courts, a bunch of goals over here. This you can probably shoot around and stuff, it looks like. Boot fest, basketball experience. Got some kids out here shooting around, and if you didn't know, the 2024 All-Star Game is going to be in Indianapolis, so super excited about that. Hopefully you can get out here for some of the festivities going on. We came into this like country vibe type shop here at the back of the uh, fairgrounds. Uh, picking me up some apple cider in here. Anytime I head to any type of like fair or festival, I love to get me some apple cider. So coming in clutch right now. It's a little hot for this time of year, but if you'd like a hot tub, you can buy them here at the state fair. That's pretty sick. There's like stacks on stacks of hot tubs out here. You have a bunch over here in this area. And then you had the ones in the area that I showed you earlier. Now we have all these over here and they go all the way down there. This is, I guess, this explains why the sign says it's like the world's largest hot tub sale or whatever it is. This is insane. This is pretty neat though. It has like a waterfall and stuff coming off the back. Here in the FFA pavilion, they have free putt-putt. I believe I saw that it is an 18-hole course in here. So you can come in here and test out your putt game on this putt-putt course in here. It's pretty cool. look at the free stage here kind of back off to the side of the main portion of the walkway here towards the back of the fairgrounds here this is where you can find free concerts and entertainment that's going on throughout the weeks that the fair is going on one of the most iconic and recognizable features here at the state fair the indiana state fair covered bridge a little cool section here where it transitions over into the main ride midway back over here Look at some of the rides they have. They have the big slide over here. See the Gravitron back there going behind the slide. You can see the Screamer going here in the distance behind this uh, food booth up here. Oh Got a fun looking fun house over here. And then right next door, we have a wild mouse. This is so dope. Love me some wild mouses. This is probably the only credit they have here at the fair unless one of the worm or dragon coasters is here as well. I'm not for sure, I haven't seen one yet, but they have a wild mouse at least. It is called the crazy mouse. fun houses here in this midway it's crazy we've already seen like three of them and another one another fun house here geez it's like the fifth one the fair also has a larson looper or 
Firestorm is what it is called. It has several different names like Fireball, Ring of Fire. This one is Firestorm. Found another credit. This one is called Bullet Train. It is a coaster that is quite a bit bigger than the Wild Mouse on the other side of the uh, Midway. This one reminds me of like maybe one of the smaller coasters at like Indiana Beach or something. This is pretty neat back here. I'm gonna have to get on this. Over here on the side of the main midway, you got a bunch of kitty rides, kitty section where your kids can enjoy the fun rides here if they are not ready for the bigger rides. And for the kids, they even have a credit for you guys too. They have the little worm poster here. We made our way to the front side of the fairgrounds here next to the Midway. Here on the front side, this is probably where you're going to find most of your uh, food options over here. Anything that you can probably think of. There is a lot on the back side as well, but I believe there's probably more options and booths here on the front side of the fairgrounds. As you can see down this uh, this main stretch here where the Sky Ride is and the Midway, or the not the Midway, but the uh, Grandstand. You can find a lot of options down here on this main street. Here's a look at the dairy barn. This is one of the best places here at the fair to get ice cream, if you're looking to get ice cream. Here is a look at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. I believe that's what it's still called, Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Uh, we're gonna see what's going on here. They have different concerts and events going on during the fair inside of here, so we'll see what all's going on here right now. All kinds of plants and stuff inside of here in the lower level here of the entrance to the Coliseum. Yes, it is still called the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Right here next to the Indiana Farmers Coliseum here is one of my favorite booths here to get the Outlaw Fries. This is where you can get those really good ribbon fries and other potato based snacks and foods. Really good stuff. And the Hoosier Lottery grandstands here are open, but currently nothing is going on. Obviously, you can park over here in the infield as well if you're looking for places to park here in the fairgrounds. Here under the grandstand, they have a nice memorial here remembering those who were lost in the tragic 2011 stage collapse here at the State Fair. So, stop by this uh, memorial here and uh, check it out. It's uh, really a nice little thing that they have here remembering these uh, lives that were lost. And over here on the opposite side of the fairground from the big midway we have the kitty lane which is basically the midway that is made for kids. Looks like they got the dragon coaster back there as well so really this fair has four credits. Back here in the water quality section of the fair. This is a neat little scenic area back here with trails and we got a little water spot over here where you can try the water quality. We'll see how it is. I'm gonna fill up this cup here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. I think the paper makes it taste a little weird, but it's not bad. We found Dual Whip, yes. Yeah. Dual Whip. I think that is just about going to do it for our trip here today to the 2023 Indiana State Fair. 
glad you guys could join us today. Come out to the fair this year if you're not doing anything in the Indianapolis area. It's going on for about three weeks. It just started this weekend and it gets over, I believe, August 20th. So make sure to get out here, check it out, support all the vendors and everybody out here selling stuff and get some Dole Whip. And there's four credits here, so check those out as well. Um, I believe I got all four of those in this footage. But subscribe to the Dacosico YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Dacosico podcast. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully at a park here pretty soon. Peace.